Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we are taking part in the 2022 Thanksgiving Pie Collaboration, but I'm gonna take it with a little bit of a different twist. I am actually doing keto, so I don't have pies. But there's been something that I've been wanting to do for a super long time, and that is make a keto chicken pot pie. So if you guys are just not feeling the pies on Thanksgiving, if you just wanna make a regular dinner, or if you want something to do with your leftovers, you could totally substitute turkey in with this. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on making our keto crust, because the crust is usually the main thing that has the most carbs in it. I'm actually using two different recipes. I'm using the pie crust from Keto Focus and I am using the, sort of using the uh, chicken pot pie filling from Low Carb Love, but I'm doing, using my own, own ingredients for the fillings because it's just what we had on hand. So I'm super excited about this. Chicken pot pie and chicken and dumplings are two of my absolute favorite di comfort dishes. It's not that it's hard to make it keto. It's actually super simple, but I've just never put in the time or the energy to look up recipes and figure out how to actually do it until today. So I was super excited about the opportunity to kind of ketoize some kind of a pie for this collaboration when Carrie over at my table of three asked if I wanted to take part in this collaboration. So I knew I had to make it something keto and so here we are. I've actually spent a lot of time thinking about what I'm actually gonna do with this. I, up until about an hour ago, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a taco pie or if I was gonna do a chicken pot pie, but we have ended up with a chicken pot pie because I do have two chickens worth of freezers. Two chickens worth of meat in the fridge. That's what I meant to say. I have two chickens worth of, of meat in the fridge and it would just be irresponsible of me to do something else. So let's get on it. We're gonna make the crust first and then I'm gonna to toss it into the fridge. The original recipe doesn't actually call to put this into the fridge, but the way that she was talking about keeping the butter kind of in larger size chunks in order to get the flakiness of the crust, if you wanna keep it cold, it's good to put it in the fridge once you actually mix it up in between mixing it, shaping it. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up all the dry ingredients. I'm doubling this batch because the recipe that I want to make is gonna have a bottom and a top crust, so we're doubling this. We have two cups of almond meal, one teaspoon of salt, uh, we have six tablespoons of coconut, coconut flour, and two teaspoons of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum's kind of like, it's a pretty multi-purpose thing in keto. It's a thickener, it's a binder. I didn't realize that was on. Next up, we need to add in. Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm not, but I feel like I am. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna chunk up our butter. One cup. So I got the butter in the chunks here. And it's, we're supposed to have two ounces of softened cream cheese. It's not really softened. I didn't pull it out of there. So, oh. And then that was a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. We're just gonna mix it up. I feel like I'm missing something. Eggs. Two eggs. I knew I was missing something. That did it. All right, now we got kind of a pie crust here. Parchment. So remember, we doubled this recipe. So we're gonna cut this in half into two separate discs, and we are gonna put it in the fridge until we're ready to bust it out. Go ahead and make this into like kind of a disc, a disc shape. It's just easier to the parchment keeps it from sticking as much. There we go. Now we're just gonna pop these into the fridge. 
let them kind of solidify while we are prepping the ingredients and cooking up our actual chicken pot pie filling. But first we need to actually chop up all the ingredients, get everything ready to actually put into the pan. I'm actually gonna be using this uh, springform pan and the reason for that is number one, I would like to have more filling in it and the bit, but the main reason is because I can't find my, my pie uh, dish. So <laughs> we're gonna make it in here. I doubled the crust. I'm gonna go ahead and actually double the filling as well. We're basically just gonna get more filling. <laughs> we're bang for our buck, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start chopping up everything we need. We're gonna do an, an onion. We're gonna do, what's this, like three, four carrots, some garlic. We need, uh, it says, calls for, th for a double recipe, calls for three cups of chicken broth. I will link both of these videos down below. The her recipe calls for two cups of shredded chicken, a half a cup of butter, two uh, chayotes, and I don't have any chayotes, so we're just gonna substitute some low carb veggies. I'm actually gonna be using the carrots, I know they're not low carb, I'm gonna be using a little bit of peas, because it's pretty standard for something like this, I'm not gonna go crazy. Uh, but so I would say this is probably gonna end up being more of a fly in my face This is actually gonna end up being more of a low carb versus a keto recipe You can use just like a top or bottom crust You can change out the veggies to make it how whatever whatever meets your macros basically is what you can do with this at any rate And then I'm also gonna be using uh, green onions well, not, I'm gonna be using green green beans and broccoli. I think that's it. Yeah, so we're gonna see, um, let's just go ahead and assemble all of our ingredients and then I'll bring you over there and we will start actually cooking these things off. With the pie crust, all I'm gonna do is when I'm sauteing up these ingredients, I don't wanna have to move the camera and do all these sorts of things. So I'm just gonna roll out a little more than half, put it in the bottom here, bake it off at, I think it's 350 for probably about 10 minutes. We don't wanna cook it off completely because it's gonna cook a little bit more in the oven once we actually fill it up and assemble it. So let's get to chopping. Is warming up here. Uh, what it calls for half a cup of butter per batch. I probably could have gotten away with less than that, but hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts right now. All right, then we're gonna add the onions and cook these guys down a little bit. Just kind of brown them up. And add in our garlic. Oh, that's probably like six cloves or so. A teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, chicken bouillon. Mix that up. Mix that in. A quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, so we're gonna do half. Okay, chicken broth, heavy cream. Broccoli. My original plan didn't work out well. This ro ro this crust is very fragile. <laughs> so I ended up just putting it in one of these kind of uh, little dishes and I couldn't get it to go into the actual, the springform pan. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer this over. I think it's cooked down enough. We'll see. Okay. Definitely did not need to double this recipe. These leftovers are gonna be amazing. Okay. So we will take this bit off to seal off this part. Not gonna be the most perfect pie in the world. Don't care. It's gonna be delicious. That's what I care about. Clean up the edges here. I was hoping to have a little more crust left over so I could make a quiche or something, but oh well. All right, we're just gonna pop this in the oven. Oh shucks, I forgot to bake the bottom crust. Oh no. Bake the bottom crust for 10 minutes. Crap. So our chicken pot pie is done. We're gonna go ahead and cut out a couple pieces. 
Robert just got home from work. So he'll be, I'm sure he'll be ready to eat. So I don't own a pie turner or pie, whatever you call it. So we'll just do our best here. That looks pretty dang good. Look at that. So we're ready to go ahead and have our taste test. And let's dig in. I know the filling's good. I have some. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so good. And I know it would be much better. It definitely, I didn't bake the crust underneath. So I know it would be much better. It's still actually pretty good. It got a decent crust under there. Can you see that right there? Um, but I know it would be, it would hold its shape a little bit better if I had remembered to bake it ahead of time. Oh well, I would definitely give this recipe two thumbs up. It's keto recipe. So. Keto? Yeah. Keto chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it. Just like a regular pot pie. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can see the crust is nice and flaky. You recording? I am. Hi. <laughs> True reaction. Uh, so uh, the you can see the crust here is nice and flaky. I would next time I would probably make it a bit thicker so you can get uh, uh, you know just more more texture and more of a bite to it. But I think it's delicious. And the filling spot on. You could do almost anything you want to with that that filling. So it wins the husband's seal of approval even though it's keto let slash low carb. If you want it to be a little bit lower carb, make it more keto. I would omit the bottom or the top, probably the bottom, because I mean, it's chicken pot pie, so usually you have the crust on the top there, but I, we're, we're doing pies, so I decided to do both both layers of it. Make sure that you guys check out the description box down below. I'm gonna link all the other channels taking part in the collaboration, the playlist that she's put together. Make sure you go check out my table of three. She is the one that is putting on the, the collaboration, and she's the one that gathered everybody together and gave everybody the ideas and is doing the giveaway at the end of the month. So make sure that you check out her channel, and make sure you comment on all of the channels as many as you possibly can on their videos because that is going to be an entry to win uh, many prizes in at the end of the month in a live giveaway so i hope that you guys will check that out if you guys are new around here we just moved to our 30 acre homestead in southern missouri and i'm sharing with you guys all the things that we're doing to turn our home into a homestead most of that is here in the kitchen with candy freezing dehydrating and a lot of fermenting coming up here soon and if that sounds awesome to you click this button right here this is the subscribe button this one tells youtube you want to come back here up here is a video that mr google pants thinks that you're going to enjoy over here is going to be my last uh, collaboration video and then up here is going to be a cooking playlist that i think you're going to enjoy thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye